Hi folks, Donnie D here. Um, about a month ago, I put this little rifle on layaway at one of my local gun shops. Uh, actually, the gun shop's about 50 miles from here, but that's kind of local for me. Um, before we get started, the gun is unloaded. Um, it is a Savage Axis Edge, chambered in 308. I bought it used. Uh, Savage Axis Edge means it's a Savage Axis that comes with a scope included. Before you start laughing at me and talking too much smack though, this is not the scope that comes with the rifle. The, the rifle, like I said, was used and the scope was gone when when, uh, when they, uh, the gun shop died it. They did still have the rings. These are the one inch rings that came with the uh, rifle. And one of the scopes that I'm looking to buy for it has a one inch tube so I'll probably be able to reuse these rings. The other two scopes I'm looking at have a 30 millimeter tube so I'll have to replace it anyway. But this uh, this scope is actually a little cheap aim sport uh, scope. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it with this rifle but it's the only thing I had spare that would fit the Picatinny rail on the gun and it's the only way I can shoot it because this gun doesn't come with iron sights. But anyway, maybe I can make do with it until I get a chance to uh, uh, pick up a new scope for it. But anyway, uh, just to start from the back and give you a little bit about, tell you a little bit about the gun if you're not familiar with it. It does come with a really nice uh, soft uh, recoil pad. It's a little bit sticky feeling, kind of wants to cling to your uh, clothing up at, uh, when you try to uh, put it up to your shoulder. But I'm going to use it as a target rifle so I don't hunt it anymore at least not right now so it doesn't matter about that too much. It does come with uh, sling swivels at the front and the back of course. Uh, the bolt is very very nice and smooth I really like that. Um, it has a 22 inch, this particular model has a 22 inch free floating barrel. Um, I like the full grip the way it's cut it gives you a nice good feel, a good grip to it. And also the rear grip. Uh, I've got kind of big hands, so you would think that I wouldn't like this part of it, but actually I do. It's got a very small diameter rear grip here, and I, it just feels really good. You can get a real, I can get a really good grasp of it on the rifle. I hadn't shot it yet, so I may change my mind about that uh, when I do get a chance to shoot it. Um, the magazine, of course, it does come in with a detachable uh, magazine, uh, four round magazine, it's four plus one capacity. Um, goes in real easy. Uh, not a whole lot else to tell you about the gun except like I said it does not come with iron sights so you do have to uh, use a scope and that's why I've got this scope temporarily mounted on there. I may not be able to use it. We'll just have to see about that. But uh, I've read a lot of good reviews on this rifle. It's a very very nice rifle. The folks that have them seem to really like them particularly for the money. Like I said, it's an entry-level rifle. Uh, retails uh, without the scope. The one without the scope would be basically what I've got. Got about $362 on the Gun Genie, and I paid $275, $275 for it used. Um, I'll try to go out and uh, and shoot it tomorrow. I hope I can. If not, I'll, I'm out off this week, so I certainly won't be able to get to shoot it a time or two uh, sometime this week. And when I do. I will come back and give you a, a review as best I can on what I think of it. Maybe show you a couple of targets that I came up with. But for right now, uh, and for the Savage Axis Chamberlain 308, this is Donnie D, and I'll see you later. Bye.